Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here. I'm going to show you how to record audio in FL Studio 20. First thing you need to do is select the channel you'd like to record to in FL. I want to record to channel 1, so I'll make sure it's selected. I'll go over to my insert section and click where it says none. Now my interface has two inputs, so I could tell it to record to input 1 and 2 in stereo, but I'm going to do input 1 because that's where my lav mic is going. And once I click that, you will start to see these volume meters jump in channel one and in the master. So there it is. Now you're starting to see levels. So FL is seeing the audio source, seeing my mic level coming through. And it's already armed for disc recording because I went ahead and added that input source. But if you ever want to arm any channel for disc recording, you simply press this little button here and it'll be red. So it's already armed. I'm gonna give myself, actually I'm gonna change the tempo, give myself a metronome, a countdown, and then make sure recording is on. Now I will also go in and select a range because I only wanna record these first three measures. So now that I've got that, I can click play and I'm gonna sing a little bit. How sweet it is to be loved by you. How sweet it is to be loved by you. How sweet it is to be loved by you. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Okay, so I sang a little bit of that, just a couple bars from it. You can see a couple things happened. When I recorded, it kept looping back, and every time I sang it again, it created another track. So basically what it's done is organized these three takes all under track one, which is where I started with the first one. So I could have kept going as many times as I want to and done as many takes of those bars, and it will just keep adding tracks underneath. I'll rename the top track, call it Vocal. That makes sense. Now that we're done recording, we can turn off our countdown, our metronome, and disable record. Now we can use the mute tool, which is right here, and unmute our first take. Let's listen to it. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Okay, that sounded pretty good. I think I did best on the second and third take. So see, I can mute and unmute different takes if I want to just listen to one. How sweet it is to be loved by you. That one was pretty good. How sweet it is to be loved by you. That was definitely my best one. So let's say though that of these three, there were certain moments I liked, certain takes, parts of each take that I like, and now I want to consolidate them into one good take. Obviously you would normally do this with a much bigger project, like a, a three or four minute song where you'd have a verse that you liked. Oh, I like the way I did this verse. I like the way I did this chorus. And you'd cut around different sections and then consolidate your best takes all into one big take. Uh, but let's just do that right now with these shorter examples, just so I can show you. So I'll go ahead and unmute them all because I'm gonna use parts of all of them. Then what I can do is I can just use the draw tool and go to either end where you see these arrows and start dragging different sections. So what I want to do is use up to measure two from take one, and then I'll use maybe just this part here. So I'll go ahead and trim this down and then make sure this is trimmed down. And then I'll use just the very end. So this will sound a little bit choppy, but just to show you, so this is what that sounds like now. How sweet it is to be loved by you. And I could definitely take some time and maybe smooth this out, but usually, like I said, when you'd be doing this, you'd be doing between a verse and a chorus. Like, oh, my best verse was in take one, my best chorus was in take two. And you'd have plenty of silence and places where you can make smooth transitions between different takes. Now that I'm done editing my takes, I can go to select again, highlight all three audio clips, go to playlist options, tools and consolidate playlist selection. I can do from selection start or from song start. 
I'll go ahead and do selection start since I have a selection. It'll give me these options, which I'm going to leave alone. Then you would press start and it will create another track underneath with a consolidated version of these three clips. Just a quick note, if you want to do any multi-track recording where you're recording several audio sources at one time, like say you want to record vocals and a guitar and a bass at the same time, you'd simply repeat the process I did for other channels. So say I wanted to go to track two and record input two. Say I had a guitar going through my second input. I would go to the same menu here and select input two. Then you'd have your guitar player, or if it's you, play some notes and make sure you're seeing levels from your guitar. If I had a bigger interface and I had you know, more than two inputs, maybe five, 10 or more inputs, I would do the same thing and go to each channel and make sure I have the correct input on my interface routing to that channel. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.